Thank you, Jesus. We will ever live to worship you. We will ever live to praise you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Label Santa Rabba Santa Papa Yadin. Father, we appreciate you. Daddy, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Once again, we welcome everyone in our midst. God bless you, Dr. Precious from Ukraine. God bless you, Mr. Nick, Brother Nick from California, uh, yeah, from US. God bless you. God bless Brother Yeni from Nigeria. God bless Sister Cordelia from Nigeria. God bless everyone. Sister Deborah from Canada. God bless you. Sister Doris from Houston. God bless you. Emiola. God bless you, Pastor uh, Oloke Tui and his wife. God bless you, uh, Pastor Florence Ayeni from U.S. God bless you, Sister Joy. God bless you, everyone that are logging tonight. You are blessed. And those logging in this morning for us from U.K. and Nigeria, God bless you. I'm trusting God that what God has for us today, 
will not miss you, will not miss me in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want to go straight because we have a very short time to spend and we have to pray as we have come. Uh, permit me to start my ministration with the dream I had. And I want to bless uh, this sister that uh, I saw in my dream. Thank God uh, she is present. By the time I describe the person, she will know herself. I'm not going to mention her name. Hallelujah. Um, I had this dream on the 15th of June. That was last Tuesday. While I was waiting upon the Lord and I was ministering to the Lord, praising and worshiping him. As you all know, every, every Tuesday uh, is a day that I set aside between me and God, you know, to fellowship with the almighty God. So while I was ministering unto the Lord, praising God and worshiping him, I slept off just briefly. And then and then I had a dream, a short dream, where I saw brethren, brother, uh, brothers and sisters, and I saw a sister, I won't mention her name, she was being asked to lead us in praise worship. Then she raised this song, which I'm going to sing now. I just want to praise the Lord. I just want to praise the Lord. I just want to praise the Lord. Oh, yes, I just want to praise the Lord. For his goodness, I just want to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to praise the Lord. I just want to praise the Lord. Oh, yes, I just want to praise the Lord. That was the song that she was singing. While she was singing, we all joined in singing along with her. And, and I saw myself with other brethren. We were singing that song with dancing and with great excitement. And we were even on the street. You know, we're just walking along the street and we're dancing, you know, we're dancing in the public. And, you know, it was so wonderful. What I noticed one thing about the sister while she was leading us, uh, while she was leading us in the song, her voice was low. Then she was not putting in more, uh, you know, energy. So and I came to, to our sister by adding energy, you know, I amplified the song, you know, and we all of us were in that spirit of rejoicing. We were in the, we were in that atmosphere. The atmosphere was joyful. Hallelujah. Now the question I'm going to ask us is this. Who is this sister leading us in praise worship? And why was she choosing to lead us? I want us to note that question. Who is this sister whose name I'm, I'm keeping secret? And why was she choosing? Why, why was she choosing by heaven to lead us in praise worship. Now, I'm going to look at this dream from two different angles. And I'm going to apply what we call the law of double re reference. That is, a dream can carry double interpretation. And it's called the law of double reference. That is, direct reference and indirect reference. Now, direct reference. This sister is a child of God. She will know herself. She's, she has logged in. I've seen her. She's a child of God, no doubt. She's married. She, uh, she's been married over five years, but yet to be pregnant. She's been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And she has gone in for medical attention. She went in for checkup. Her husband also, also went for a medical checkup. They have been treated medically yet no solution. In the course of medical checkup, fibroid was discovered. And recently, she has gone for the operation. She has done the 
uh, fibro operation. So this description, the person will know herself. Yes, you say you are the one. Yes, you are the one. I don't want to mention your name. I saw you and I saw that you were asked to lead us in praise worship. And the song, the song I just sang now was the song that you were singing. Now, let me now minister to you directly. I want you to rest assured. Heaven has uh, discovered you. Heaven has singled you out for your miracle. The miracle that you are expecting from the Lord. God has seen your tears. And I am trusting God for you. And I decree that that miracle of a set of twins that you are trusting God for over the years, and you are here to get it. Now is your time. Now is your day. And I speak into your, into your body. You have done everything possible. You have prayed. You have gone to the mountain to pray. You have fasted. And you, I, I are not asking yourself, what next will I do? I have gone for the fibroid operation. What else should I do? Now, the Lord is telling you, begin to praise me. Begin to praise me. I saw that heaven singled you out among all of us to lead us in praise worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Any moment, any moment from now, we are going to get pregnant in the name of Jesus. Now, the second portion to that dream, I call it indirect reference. This sister in question can be likened to a child of God, can be likened to a brother, a sister, who is a child of God, but having a challenge in his life, having a challenge in her life. And this is where I also, I'm going to also connect myself to this dream. Thank God I was in that dream. Thank God I was praising God. I came to amplify the voice of that sister, whose name I'm not going to mention. She knows herself. Hallelujah. And I was dancing and, you know, along with other brethren. And I want to believe that the brethren that I saw in that dream, you that I'm saying now, you are part of the brethren that I saw praising God. So this sister can be likened to a child of God having a long-standing challenge in, in his life, in her life. And the challenge can be marital, that is someone who, you know, a sister who is yet to get married or a brother who is yet to get married. He or she has tried everything possible to get married, yet to no avail. Brother A will come. After a while, Brother A will say, he is no more interested. Sister, uh, after the brother will propose to his sister, as they get along, along the line, the sister will say, she is no more interested. This has been your pain. And age is no more on your side. And you are looking up and say, telling God that, what else must I do? Yes, this dream is for you. This sister can also be likened to a brother or a sister who is also facing a challenge of financial hardship. You have done everything possible to make it in life. You have been struggling to make it in life. And yet, instead of making it, you are not making it. You have invested. Your investment is not yielding. Things are getting worse and worse. You have prayed. The more you pray and fasted, it's like the more the situation is getting worse and worse. So you, the situation is helpless. It's like, it's as if you don't have any, any helper anywhere. You try to seek for help. Help is not forthcoming. It can also be likened to a sister or a brother who is facing with health challenge. You have used every medication possible. That, that sickness is not going. And you too, you know that you are dying. Uh, you are dying gradually. I want you to be, I want you to congratulate yourself that you log in tonight. You are going through pain. You are going through excruciating pain. 
your job is not what you are doing as a job is not what you want to be doing. You want a better job and that better job is not forthcoming. Yes, you are the sister that I saw in my dream. Like I told you, we are applying the law of double reference. This dream can also be interpreted, you know, also in this, uh, in this way. Now, the question I'm going to ask ourselves is this. Does it make sense to the human mind? Somebody who is going through pain and you now ask that person to start praising God. Why is he praising God? Is it not somebody that has received miracles from the Lord that they will now say, yes, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. See what the Lord has done for me. And they will begin to uh, praise God. Why must I praise God when I'm in pain? Why will I praise God when I'm in pain? What will I show? What is the evidence of my praising God? Hallelujah. Yes, humanly speaking, it doesn't make any sense. But in that dream, heaven picked this sister. Heaven signaled this sister who was going through this challenge in her life. The challenge of barrenness. The challenge of not having a child after over five years of marriage. Done everything possible. And yet, no uh, no sign of getting pregnant. And the heaven single her out that she should lead us in praise worship. Why did heaven single that lady out? Why is God telling you and telling me from that dream that in spite of the pain we are going through, in spite of the challenge that we are being, we are being faced, we should praise God. Few lessons that we can draw out from that dream is this. Number one, regardless of my present challenge, God is God and is a faithful God. That is one thing I am learning as a person. Because as I'm talking to you, I have a challenge in my life that I'm trusting God for to give me a solution. The lesson I'm learning there is that regardless of my present challenge, God is God. And he is a faithful God. He is a reliable God. And that is why heaven is saying that, Austin, in spite of your challenge, in spite of the pain you are going through, in spite of your calamity, open your mouth and begin to bless God. Open your mouth and begin to bless God. Bless him from your heart. Another, another lesson we are learning is that regardless of my present challenge, God, that is known as Elohim, is Yahweh. Is Yahweh, which means I am that I am. I am who I am. I will be who I will be. When Moses asked God, Elohim, of his personal name, God did not give himself a noun, a noun name. What is a noun? A noun is a name of a person, place, or a thing. God did not name himself. Or rather, God did not give, uh, God did not give himself a noun name. Rather, God gave himself a verb name. Of course, we know that a verb is, is an action word. God gave, 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 gave uh, sorry, God named, named himself, gave himself a verb name. The name Yahweh is not a noun, it's a verb. Yahweh in Hebrew means I am, or rather I will be. I am, I will be, it's a verb. It's a verb. It's not a noun. So what's the meaning of I am? What does I am means to you? What does I will be means mean to you? Remember Psalm 9 verse 10. It says, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. And they that know thy name those who know the name of the Lord, Yahweh, I am. When you know the name of the Lord, Yahweh, the Bible says that they will first, you will put your trust in him. Daniel chapter 11, 32 B says, the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. 
Brethren, you will agree with me that you cannot know God without knowing his name. This is because the name of God carries the revelation of God. I take it again. Don't forget it. Daniel 11.32 says that the people that do know their God shall be strong and shall do exploit. In Psalm, where we have read, David told us that the people who... Uh, 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 the people that know the name of the Lord shall put their trust in, in him. When you know the name of the Lord, Yahweh, when you know th that name, I don't mean just knowing that name mentally. When you really, really know that name, you know that you have understanding of that name. God has given you a revelation of that name, Yahweh. I am that I am. I will be who I will be. When you know that name, you are going to put your trust in him. You will not doubt God. Whenever God gives you a word, you will not doubt, you will not doubt his word. It may take long, but you will not doubt it. Hallelujah. And Daniel now told us that the people that know their God, there is no way you cannot know God without knowing his name. It's not possible. Maybe that's why uh, 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 we are yet to know God. We say we know him. Do we really know his name? We call his name. Do we know that name? Even, even uh, Yahshua, which means uh, Jesus. We call that name Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Do we really know that name, Jesus? Because they that know their God shall be strong and they will do exploit. That is the word of the Lord. Brethren, you cannot know God without knowing his name. This is because the name of God carries the revelation of God. The name of God, Yahweh, the name of God carries the revelation of God. The name of God tells us who God is, tells us what God can do. Hallelujah. Let me go back to our question now. What does I am mean to you? What does I am, what does I will be who I will be mean to me? Brethren, the, the phrase I am or I will be, write it down now. What does it mean? Continuous unfinished action. Just th these three words, that's the meaning. Continuous unfinished action. And what does that mean to you? It's telling you and me that God is an action God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. God is an action God. When you know God this way, I am telling you, nothing can be impossible unto you. Continuous, unfinished action. God is an action God. This means that God is never tired nor wearied. I am who I am. I will be who I will be. God is still working. Even when humanly we cannot see nor feel it, even when we don't feel it, even when we, we cannot see it, God is still working. God has never, never at any point in time stopped working right from creation. Even before creation, God has been working. During creation, he's been working. If, and even after creation, God is still working. The Bible tells us that the God that we have, known as Yahweh, neither sleep nor slumber. He does not sleep nor slumber. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He neither sleep nor slumber. That, that is the God that, uh, that we have. Hallelujah. Whether we see it, whether we see what he's doing, or we don't see what he's doing, whether we feel what he's doing or we don't feel what he's doing, see what God says in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. He says, I am Yahweh, I change not. So brethren, whatever is your challenge, whatever is my challenge, whatever we are going through, whatever the pain you are going through cannot change who God is. You know why? Because his name is I am who I am. I will be who I will be. Nothing can rename me, say the Lord. 
That was what the Lord was telling me uh, 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 when I was preparing for this ministration. He said, nothing can rename me, said the Lord. Whatever you are going to Austin, say, what you are going to cannot rename me. I am who I am. I will be who I will be. So my beloved brethren, this is why heaven chooses you in your pain. Heaven still chooses you to praise God. And even in your present state of what you are going through, that unpalatable situation, God is still is looking up unto you to praise him, to give him worship. Now, let me ask us a question. According to Genesis chapter 22, verse 12b, because maybe asking yourself a question that is there anyone in the Bible that that did what Austin you are trying to communicate to us? Yes, Father Abraham. But let me ask you a question. Genesis 22, verse 12b. At what point did God say to Abraham, For now I know that thou fearest God? Saying that thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. At what point did God make that statement? That now, now I know that indeed you, Abraham, you reverence me. You really indeed reverence me. You love me. It is now I know that you love me. It was when Abraham had offered his laughter to God. It was it was after. After, not before. It was after. After he has offered his son, his only son, his laughter to God. That is when Abraham worshipped God with his only son. It was then God now said that, now I know. And that now moved God to swear by his holiness that by, by holiness have I sworn to you, Abraham, that what I have told you that I will do, I am going to do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who will not praise God when everything is okay? Mm -hmm. Who will not praise God when everything is working well? Money in the pocket, children at home, good job, promotion, you travel here and there, you build houses, you are living a good life, you are in good health, why won't you praise God? It is a fool that will not praise God. A fool. Of course, you, you will praise God because things are working. Your, even your own hallelujah will be the, will be the loudest. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. But brethren, let me give you this secret. Let me tell you that the best time to praise God and to win the heart of God is when you praise and worship God while going through that pain. Put this word in your hand. That's why when I see people today, when they're going through pain, instead of going, knowing this secret, instead of praising God, they complain. They are grumbling. You can see it even in their tone. You can see it in their body language. Brethren, you've not learned the secret. You've not learned the secret. And that is what I saw in that dream. Because that sister, in spite of his, her challenge, in spite of her pain, you will agree with me that a woman who has gotten married for over five years without a baby will not be rejoicing. When she will see other people who are just getting married, getting uh, children, getting pregnant and getting uh, children. And age, is not, and age is not on our side. And yet, heaven picked her to lead us in praise worship. And thank God that she did not complain. She, uh, she responded to that call. And that you, that sister, as you are hearing me, what God expects from you now is begin to praise him now. Stop complaining. Stop grumbling. If you can even reduce your asking, do more of praises than asking. If you can spend 90% of your time now praising God, I am telling you, you will see that you will get pregnant. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to 
We are going into the prayer now very soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at what the Bible tells me in Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 21. Write it down. I will just read 20 to 21. Romans 4, 17 to 21. Let me say it again because, as they say, repetition is the law of lasting effect. The best time to praise God and to win the heart of God to the point that God too will now look down on you and, and swear and say that, Austin, by my holiness, have I sworn that what I told you years ago, that in blessing I will bless you, I swear by my holiness that I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I am going to do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The best time for you to get to get God in that in that state of mind, not only to bless you, but to swear, to swear on you, is when you learn how to be a worshiper of God in spirit and in truth, while you are going through that pain, while you are going through that pain, when that pain is biting you hard, and you are worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Yes, while you are shedding tears, and you are praising God with your tears. I am telling you, you will move God. See, faith, God, God does not, God is not, God has emotion, but God is not emotional. The only way that you can move God emotionally is what I'm telling you. Your cry does not move God. It is your cry. God is looking for your faith. Your faith in that crying. Your faith. Mark my word. Your faith in that crying. Your faith in that pain is, is what moves God. Because it is that faith in you. Remember Psalm 9 verse 10. He said, they, they that know their God. No, they that know the name of God shall put their trust in him. When you know God, when you know the name of God, Yahweh, you have that understanding that I am that I am, that whatever I'm going through cannot change him. He is still God. He is I am who I am. Your, my situation, my challenge cannot redefine God, cannot rename God. He will be who he will be. He will be gracious to whom he will be, he will be gracious to. He will show mercy to whom he will show mercy to because he is. Hey, thank you, Jesus. He said, that is my name. He said, by, my, by this name will I be known from one generation to generation. When you know God that way, even when you are shedding tears, even when you are feeling that pain, and that faith in you drives you to begin to worship God, while in that pain, it is that faith in your pain that moves God into action. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, look at Father Abraham, a case study. Let's use Father Abraham as a case study. The Bible tells us in verse 20 to 21 of Romans chapter 4 that he staggered not at the promise of God. Remember, this is, after, this is about 25 years that Abraham had been waiting upon the Lord. But we are told that he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what God has spoken to him, what God has promised him, he was able also to perform it. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Abraham and his wife praised and worshiped God before the manifestation of the promise of Isaac. That is exactly what God is telling us concerning that dream. The dream God gave to me. I have understood it. The moment I saw it, I caught it. Ah, I wish this sister in question. Same thing, Napo has it here. I wish she will understand what I'm saying. I wish she will stop struggling. I wish she will now come back and begin to learn how to praise God, how to worship God from, from, his, from her heart. I, I, I pray that she and her husband will come together in unity of faith and begin to worship God. No more complaining, no more grumbling. Even if the husband is not that spiritual, even if the husband does not have that faith, but she will act like, uh, like uh, Hannah, Anna, Hannah. She will act like Anna, go, going to God and worshiping God like Hannah did without complaining, without complaining. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, Father Abraham, him and his wife, 
they worship God. And I want to believe that while they were praising God, I want to believe that, that they must have been dancing before God. You know, and lo and behold, while they were doing that, <laughs> see what happened. Abraham and his wife became potent. God himself came and treated, treated Abraham and his wife. Because Abraham and his wife, they were dead sexually. They were dead. Nothing was working. Don't forget, Sarah was barren, and also she has entered menopause. Then Abraham was also completely, she be, he became impotent. Because if you read that uh, Romans 4 uh, from verse 17, you will see there that he did not consider his own body now dead. What does that mean? Impotent. He was impotent. He was impotent. But when they learned this secret, they began to glorify God in that situation, in that pain. They began to bless the Lord. They did not question God that God, when are, when are you going to... When are you going to fulfill your word that you gave, uh, uh, gave to us? No, they began to praise God. That the God whom we have, this Yahweh, whose name is I am who I am, I will be who I will be. That even our situation, our barrenness, our impotency cannot redefine God, does not reduce God, does not, does not have anything to do with God. Because he said, I am Yahweh, I will not, I, 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 I change not. And suddenly they became healed. They became potent. And before they knew it, like dream, like dream, Sarah got pregnant. And you, that sister, I speak into your, into your life that like dream, like dream, you get pregnant in the name of Jesus. Like dream, like dream, you get pregnant in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sarah got pregnant at her old age and she gave back to a son named Isaac. Love that. Didn't God fulfill his word? He did. How did God fulfill his word? It was when Abraham entered into that realm of worshiping God. He left his complaining, his grumbling, and entered into that realm, that, that state of worshiping God in that pain. That's what I'm talking about. Faith in God will move you to begin to worship God in that pain. Faith in God will move you from your pain to enter into that state of worshiping God in that your pain. And when you begin to do that, I am telling you, God will show up. God will show up. God will show up. Now, I'm going to sing that song in another version. I am going to praise the Lord. Baba. I am going to praise the Lord. I am going to praise the Lord. Oh, yes, I am going to praise the Lord. Will you praise your God? I am going to praise the Lord. Oh, Baba. I say, I am going to praise the Lord. I am going to praise the Lord. Oh, yes, I am going to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I am going to praise the Lord, Baba. I say, I am going to praise the Lord. I am going to praise the Lord. Oh, yes, I am going to praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brethren, if you only understand this short ministration, if you only understand, this was a song I had in my dream last week, last Tuesday. Brethren, even though this dream was meant for this sister, but the Lord gave me understanding. And that is why I said, I'm going to, I told her, I said, I'm going to, I've not told her, I said, come, come and hear it. You have to log in. I'm not going to call you to tell you. Log in and thank God she obeyed. This is the solution to your long studying pregnancy. You begin to learn how to praise God in that pain that you are going through over five years. I tell you, like dream, like dream, as it, as it happened to Sarah, like dream, like dream, you too, you will get pregnant. 
That is a prophetic instruction to you. And how does that concern me? The Lord is telling me, Austin, I know you are going through pain. I know what you are going through. You've done everything to make it in life. You've struggled. You've dabbled into so many investments. You did that. You did that. You did that. And yet you are hitting a rock. Why can't you just praise me and see me in action? Because <laughs> my name, I am who I am. The Lord told me, hallelujah. He said, Austin, I am that I am. He said, I'm, I, will, I will be, I am that I am to you. He said, I will be Yahweh to you, Austin. He said, I will be who I, I will be to you, Austin. I had it. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I understand. Brethren, I wish I, I wish I could explain, I wish I could explain further the insight God gave to me, that mystery of, about that name. And that is why you can see me, I'm bubbling with joy. And that is why by the grace of God, July, I don't know how many people that want to join me on this journey. If you are, in, if you are ready to join me on this journey, just WhatsApp me. Then I will carry you along. Only those that will, will, uh, will go with me with this journey that I'm going to engage during that period. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, that is why I told God, I said, God, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it with worship. Brethren, I want you to spend just two, three minutes now before I pray. I want you, don't ask anything. Just begin to praise the Lord. Make a consecration that in your pain, that today ends my complaint. Today ends my grumbling. Today ends my murmuring. Instead of spending time to murmur, to grumble, that time I will spend it to worship God, to praise God according to that dream. Because I want to, I want to believe that I am part of that. I, I, I was one of those in that dream. Thank God. We were so many on the street singing that song. Over to you now. Begin to praise God. You cannot unmute yourself. Say, Tanapa, say, Tanapa, Payado. Me kuse tena kuri abu sentana papa yade rebura tena pu sentana papa yade ogete na kuri amu santo ne kuriya. Unmute yourself now. Unmute yourself now. Unmute yourself now. Sentana papa yade na kuriya. And begin to sing that. Begin to praise God. Don't ask anything from God. Begin to just begin to just begin to worship God because what I saw in that dream was praise. We are only praising God. Send a look at the rock and stone to la papaya. I am going to praise the Lord, Baba. I am going to praise my Father. I say I am going to praise my Daddy. Oh yeah, I am going to praise my Dad. Hallelujah, I am going to praise my God. I am going to praise my God. I am going to praise my Lord. Oh yeah, I am going to praise my Lord. For his goodness, I am going to praise my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Papa to the Luke and the Puriamos or Dona Puedo. Again, a Puriamos on Dona Puriamos on Dona Puedo. A Puriamos on Dona 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 Puriamos on Dona
You are worthy, Baba. You are worthy. I say you are worthy of my praise. I say you are worthy, Baba. You are worthy. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. I say you are worthy, Baba. Oh, you are worthy, oh, Baba. I say you are worthy, oh, of my praise. I say you are worthy, oh, you are worthy, oh. Oh, I say you are worthy of my praise. I say you are worthy. You are worthy. Oh, Baba, you are worthy of my praise. I say you are worthy. Baba, I say you are worthy, oh, Baba. I say you are worthy of my praise. I say you are worthy, oh, I you are worthy, oh, Oh, my prayer. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we praise and worship. Amen. Brethren, I want to challenge you. In the next seven days, just increase your praise and worship before the Almighty God. In the next seven days. And you'll be surprised what the Lord God Almighty will do in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Lord God Almighty, this was the dream you gave to me last Tuesday, which I have shared. Father, thank you very much, O oh Lord God of glory. Father in heaven, I have I have delivered, O oh Lord the dream, O oh Lord, ministration to my brethren. Father, they have received it and they have also uh, made a consecration, Father, that they are going to replace their complaint and their murmuring and, and their grumbling and they are going to replace it with praising you and worshiping you. Father in heaven, because in that dream, I saw every one of us who were singing and dancing and singing and dancing to that song. Oh, my father, and that song is a song, is a song of consecration that we are going to praise you. Regardless of our situation, regardless what we are going through, we are going to praise you. And we have been able to see Father Abraham as a case study. We saw that Father Abraham, while in his pain, him and his wife, when the situation was hopeless. No help, no, no help from anywhere. No, the, the, the state was hopeless, and they and they switch from complaining, from from murmuring, from grumbling into worshiping you. And the Bible says that, and they were glorifying you being fully persuaded that what the almighty God has spoken and said unto them, that he is able because he is, because he is, because you are who you are, because you will be what you will be. Nothing can reduce you. Nobody can rename you. You are beyond any, you are beyond naming. You are beyond naming. Satan, Papa, you are telling us that, that you are before everything and everything will terminate even before you. Nothing will Outlast you. No challenge will at, outlast you. No challenge will outlast you. Father in heaven. And we have come also in that same spirit of worship. Oh, yes, Papa, because you said that, that the Father seeks such to worship him. And we have been our available to you, Father, to worship you. And we have started worshiping you. Father, or your descent. Father, descend. 
in your power, in your might, in the name of Jesus, and begin to visit each and every one present, oh Lord, tonight, in the name of Jesus. You, that sister, that are, that before you came, you I don't want to mention your name, before you came, you were shedding tears. You were so bothered and troubled, and you were shedding tears. The Lord is saying that, why not, even with your tears, begin to worship me. With your tears, shed your tears, but in, with your tears, Begin to worship him with your tears. Let me see faith in you. Let me see faith because it is the faith, faith in your tears that will move him. That will move him. Oh, Santa Napo Santa, right now I command that thing that is causing you to be shedding tears. I command as you are exercising your faith now, as your faith is now moving you to be praising him. I command that those, those things that are making you to be shedding tears, I command them not to be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. I command it. It's a command. I, it's a command. It's a command. I command it to be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Now, Satan, Papa, Papa, Yadu, Nekia, Papa, Yadu, Nekia, Papa, Papa, Yadu, Nekia, Papa, Papa, Yadu, for those that are trusting God for the foot of the womb, you and your husband, I see it now. I'm seeing it in, in my spirit, like a picture, like a movie. I see that you and your husband, because of the tension, because of not having uh, 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 children. Uh, because you are looking for, uh, you are trusting God for the foot of the womb. And because the, that, that pregnancy is not forthcoming, and that has not uh, 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 a kind of, that thing has caused you to, uh, you know, it has brought friction, tension between, between you and your husband. But be very careful. Be very careful because the angel that carries baby, babies, they are very close to you. I see that you and your husband, you are, you, are, you are having a kind of uh, 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 friction, like trouble. And meanwhile, this is your season. You are already in your season of getting pregnant. But the enemy wants to use that to cause you and your husband to quarrel, to fight, so that, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you what is going to happen, so that two of you will quarrel. When you quarrel, you will not meet. And as at the time, the angel will come with that, Baby, two of you are separated. Two of you are not sleeping together. Two of you are not coming together so that the baby can be dropped. And may I warn you, if that should happen, before that cycle will come again, it might take another five to 10 years. Mm. Be warned. Be warned. I, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I saw it. Kelly Santa, I command every plot of the enemy to, de to move us away from our place of destiny. I command it destroyed now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command it destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Satan, Papa, you didn't Korea, Satan, Korea. Oh, Yetena, Papa, you didn't Korea. Whatever the enemy is plotting to move us away from our place of destiny. For my place of blessing, oh, send that now, Papa, so that when the angel of blessing is coming with with our blessing, I will not be I will not be available. Ah, eh, me me mau, send the level, send that up, Ruwa Kodesh, Ruwa Kodesh. We call upon you now in the name of Jesus by your anointing. We break that plot of the enemy. We break that plot of the enemy. We destroy it now in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, we are asking, oh Lord, help us, oh Lord, to be at the right place at the right time. Help mm -hmm. us to be at the right place at the right time. So that when our angel of blessing comes with our blessing, Father, oh, he might locate us. So that we so that we to locate us and drop that blessing with us in the name of Jesus. Father, look at what you are saying, oh Lord. You say, what I will have. Bless Israel. Iniquity was found in Samaria. When I will have blessed Israel, iniquity was found. Ah, the name of Father, that will not be our Lord. In the name of Jesus. God, that will, be, that will not be our Lord. In the name of Jesus. When you will have come, when you will have sent your angels to come and deliver our blessing to us, may, may that angel not found sin sin in our hands. In the name of Jesus. Help us to run away from sin, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
Kebu said to now Papa Yadu, Father, those who are in relationship, oh, ye name le kute na Papa who are not yet married. Lord, I I pray that when the enemy is coming to tell them there's nothing wrong for you of the, uh, the two of you having sex, that is the plot of the enemy to uh, cause them to have that sex after having that sex, and the miracle that the Lord want to perform. The, do not miss it. I pray in the name of Jesus. I command that in the name of Jesus that the plot of the enemy will be exposed and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, Lord, we pray that this day, Father, show up yourself. Amen. As we begin to praise you for the next seven days lord show up oh lord you said they that know their god and today we have known your name and because we have known your name we have known your name that you are who you are yahweh he said by this name will i be known baba we, we have known your name we have not have understanding of your name at least a little bit understand with we now have a little bit of understanding of your name. And because we have a little bit of your name, now we know you. We know that whatever you say, we shall come to pass because you are who you are. You are who you are. You are not what you have. You are who you are. Nothing can define you. Nothing can rename you. No man can name you. Nothing can name you. You are beyond naming. That's why you say you are. Your name is not a noun. Your name is a verb. That is an action. God, on continuous unfinished action. That is the continuous, continuous unfinished action. You are God of action. You are working. You are working. Nothing can stop you. Father in heaven, I pray that as we begin to worship you with this, under, with this understanding in, in, in our heart. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, this week, that we, this week, this week, Father, show up yourself. Amen. Give up now. Show up yourself. Show up yourself. Show up yourself. Show up yourself. Concerning our job career, show up yourself. Concerning our academic career, show up yourself. Concerning the front of the room, show up yourself. Concerning whatever is that need, Lord, show up yourself in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lord, before we round off, Father, I want to pray for this uh, sister who is going for delivery this Friday. Sister Elizabeth Arugundade. Father, thank you. As you have shown me that just 30 minutes, everything will be perfected. Amen. I told her, I told her they're going to do CS. I said, just get prepared for CS. And when she got to the hospital, the doctor told her we are doing CS. I said, but I've already prepared your mind towards it. I said, go ahead. Subject yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, this Friday, she will go. She will come with her baby in the name of Jesus. And for Sister, and for sister Tunji, who is also in her final trimester, anyone from now, she too will also be ready for delivery. These are the two people that on this platform, we prayed and they got pregnant. And now, <laughs> again on this platform again, they are, they are going to deliver their baby. Amen. Father, in heaven, thank you. Because thank you. they are coming to testify. They Amen. are coming to testify. They are coming Amen. to testify. On this platform, Amen. they are coming to testify. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank, thank you, Jesus. You. Thank you, Dr. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Father, hmm. I congratulate all those that are trusting God for the foot of the womb. You are here <laughs> because I'm hearing a, 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 I'm hearing something now. Oh, Hallelujah! Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Now, receive your babies. Amen. Amen. Receive your babies. Amen. Receive your babies. Amen. You are getting pregnant now. Amen. All those that have logged in, you are hearing, you are hearing me. Receive your babies. In the name of Jesus. I don't care how long you have been in that situation of fruitlessness, of barrenness. But right now, I see Dr. Jesus. I see Dr. Jesus. I see Dr. Jesus. I see Dr. Jesus beckoning on me that I should declare it. And I declare in the name of Jesus, receive your babies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. And whatever is your need, receive solution to your need now in the name of Jesus. Whatever Amen. is need. Honestly, I see Jesus right now. I see Jesus now. I said, receive, receive the solution yeah. to your need now. Financial need, material need, marital need, whatever need it is. Receive solution to that need and come and testify in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. If it, is, if it is healing, receive your healing now in the name of Amen. Jesus. If it is deliverance, receive your deliverance now in the name of Amen. Jesus. For this purpose, Christ is being manifested now to destroy every work of the devil, every trace of the devil in your life, in your body. Right now, Jesus is destroying them now. Amen. Jesus is destroying them now. Jesus is destroying them now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If you believe that the Lord has answered you, can I hear your powerful hallelujah? Hallelujah. Oh, that hallelujah is so low. I said, if you believe that the Lord God Almighty has spoken to you and that dream, you are part of that dream, and that dream, God has spoken to you through that dream that I've shared and through the ministration and through the prayer. You believe that the Lord has answered you. Can I hear your powerful hallelujah? Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah shall never cease from your mouth in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will have every cause to be shouting hallelujah from now Amen. henceforth. In the name of Jesus. From Amen. now, from now, you will have every cause to be shouting hallelujah. You have Amen. every cause to be shouting hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Remember, you cannot know God without knowing his name. Because the name, uh, the name of God carries the revelation of God. The name of God carries the revelation of God. Hallelujah. May God give you understanding in Jesus' name.